Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial about using frame in virtual reality. This tutorial will be done from an Oculus Quest 2. Frame also does work though on devices like the uh, Oculus Rift or HTC Vive, other uh, PC VR headsets. But here I am on the Oculus Quest 2. I've opened up the Oculus browser application, which is a browser built in to the Quest itself. So then I've navigated to a frame uh, URL up top. Okay. Now the hardest thing about VR and frame is actually just logging in if you need to be logged in. Uh, and what you need to do is before you enter immersive mode with the button at the bottom right, go ahead and sign in if you need to be signed in. I'm just going to sign in with Google. And there we have it. Now I am signed in. Okay, and I see the connect button. I'm gonna go ahead and connect to the frame. And then I'm going to click the VR button down at the bottom right to expand it into full immersive mode. Now, if you click the connect button, you might get a little pop-up that says, this browser tab needs access to your microphone. Go ahead and grant it if you'd like to be able to use your microphone. This is a pop-up you can only see before you enter immersive mode. I've already given this website permission to do everything, so I'm going to click this button. Now, if you do that for the first time, the browser might also ask you for permission to enter immersive mode, and you have to grant it, and usually just something you do once and you're good to go. So here I am in VR, and I'm looking at my controllers. Look really nice. I'm pulling them up. Let's get started. To move around, you can use your joysticks. I am just holding my joystick forward, and you'll see a kind of teleportation ring show up, and once you let go of the joystick, you will teleport there. Once the ring is open, you can move the joystick around. I'm tilting the joystick controller around to actually change where you'll be facing once you teleport. I want to face that wall over there, so I will do this, and now I'm facing the wall. Uh, you can also use the other joystick as well uh, to do the same thing. Now I do believe, I'm not sure if it'll be done by the time you see this, but I think we're also working on a setting in the user interface that might let you change your style of navigation in case you want to move around another way. Now on that topic, let's dive into the user interface in VR. So if you bring your controllers up, you'll see that one of your controllers has a button attached to it. Use the laser pointer on your other controller to reach out and then tap it using this trigger here. Tap. Tap. And here it is. Really nice. Uh, you'll see a few different sections of the user interface. Some of these will only be available to you if you're logged in. That's why I encourage you to log in before you enter VR mode. So you can do things like turn on edit mode. And with edit mode on, just as you can on desktop, you can click on assets in the scene and move them around. That is really powerful. You can grab these little scale handles to scale things up. You can grab the rotation wheels to rotate them around. And that's just very cool. So that's edit mode. I'm going to move that over there. I'm going to move the whiteboard over there. I'm going to, well, that's all I've got here. <laughs> that's okay. But uh, browse around the rest of this UI. You'll see things like microphone on or off. You'll see an emoji launcher that will launch emojis out of your uh, avatar. Um, if you'd like this button to be on the other hand, let's say that you uh, are left-handed, it's easier for you to do that, just click this and voila, you will be good to go. I'm going to change it back for now. Oh. There we go. Okay, now you can also set your name tag in VR using our virtual keyboard. So if you need to change it, you can. I don't need to change this, so I'm good. Uh, if you're logged in, you've got your inventory and you can bring in assets from your inventory right in to frame on the fly. Very cool. If you want to adjust your frame permissions, you can do this using the permissions and you get the idea. You can even change your avatar if you'd like, which is quite cool. I'd like to change my hair. There we go, got a new hat, I'm all set. You can also look at the text chat and so forth. You can see the online user menu. 
you can mute others, you can boot others if you are the admin. Okay, that is basically it. Um, that should get you started for VR mode. Uh, other people will see your hands tracked in the space, so you can wave to them and they will wave back. Um, sometimes in some environments you might teleport onto the ceiling. Uh, we're gonna be fixing this issue soon, but in the meantime, do your best just to make your way back down. Uh, sometimes this is quite fun, uh, but just in case it happens, this is what it looks like. I'm up on the ceiling, right? Looks nice, fair enough, but I wanna get back down. So there I go. But if you wanna make sure you don't do that, just make sure you see where the circle is before you let go of it. Make sure that it's where you want it to, where you want it to be. Okay, so there you have it. That's the basics of using the VR user interface and edit mode in VR. Remember that in VR, you can do other cool things too, like draw on the whiteboard. I just rotated this around. I'm gonna start drawing. Oh, I need to turn off edit mode, I believe. There we go. I'd like to start drawing and there you have it. Okay, good luck and let us know how you are doing in VR.